found her, moaning, half naked, bleeding from her chest in privates. Couldn't tell her age, her face was too badly beaten. She moaned anything you could make out? Nothing that sounded like words. I got this call 45 minutes ago. What's she still doing here? They've only been here five minutes. Moses wasn't available to part the morning rush hour. Deep stab wound, left chest. They made four by four. Hey, I was afraid to move her. I called for the bus and I put a rush on it. What do we got? Good old fashioned stone in New York style. My guess after the stabbing and the rape. What about the weapon? Nothing yet. Any ID? Still looking. BP 90 over 60. That's as good as we're going to get. Let's get her out of here. What is this, open season? A few drinks, a little smoke, a bunch of guys wet down, a couple dozen women. Wilding's back in vogue. I hate that word, wilding, like it's some kind of party. You're right, I'll cover the scene. Is there anything that I can tell the chief of detectives when he calls me for the fifth time? Female Jane Doe, probably in her 20s, she was raped, stabbed, and beaten with stones, left for dead. Mm -hmm. No clue who she is. Well, the grid search put divers in the pond. The scene was pretty much trampled. It could have been a dump job. No ID, no knife. I rode the bus with her, and she was mumbling something in Arabic or Hebrew, but nothing that I can make out. Thanks. That was the hospital. They got post-op photos for us. They poured four units in it. It's a touch and go, she'll survive. What about the rape kit? Turned up hair, semen, bruising, and blood from a freshly perforated hymen. A virgin. You know what the chief was telling me during our last conversation? It's pucker time, folks. Now call every precinct, transit, and housing district. See if anybody reported or missing. Go talk to the park precinct captain, all right? See if there's any ongoing problems we should know about. But be warned, that guy is a jerk times 10. Crime in the park's the lowest in 30 years. It was different today. Today was an anomaly. That's why I'm out here. Look, all we're asking is whether you have any wolf pack type activity on your radar, like the wilding after the Portofino Day parade. Another anomaly. Look, we get the usual isolated incidents, but no gangs. Not in my park. Okay, Captain, one more question. Look, call me. I got people waiting. Hi, I'm Detective Benson. This is Detective Stabler. What now? Is Chris Lyons at home? You want to talk to him? Here. Call her attorney. OK, we can either do this the easy way, or we can do it your way. Now, your way means a search warrant. Six officers inside your townhouse turning it upside down well into the evening. But I'm sure your neighbors would understand. We'll meet you at our attorney's office. Is there a reason you're harassing my client? Yeah, your client was arrested last week for threatening a mother walking her infant in a stroller. She's like, damn, yo. I was just checking her out. Chris, we've already answered that charge. Hey, yo, where were you early this morning? My god, you're talking about that woman. The attack in the park. How dare you accuse my son? David. I wasn't there. He was home all night. Now, don't you say another word. How about we hear about it from him? How about we don't? He's 15. Hey, you homies, you walk the walk. You got it in you to talk the talk? So we like to look at the ladies. But what happened to that lady? We're not down with that. Hmm. Well, what are you down with? Dot coming. From one in the morning till Pops here kicked me off. And around nine. You can check our records. Ah, uh, we'll be in touch with you. Your victim only had one person's DNA inside her. She was dumped after she was stabbed. Are you sure about that? Hospital says she lost half her blood volume. We didn't find anywhere near that amount of blood at the scene. OK, fibers. White cotton found in the blood on her clothes, her legs, and genitals, meaning she wasn't wearing any pants. The attack followed the rape by maybe eight hours. Anything on the rocks? We found a bloody print. Doesn't match the victim or anyone in the system, but this may help you ID her. She was wearing it. CSU picked it up at the hospital. Hanford. You wanted to go back to college. Now's your chance. Any of these? No. 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 We think she's from somewhere in the Middle East, maybe Israel. Wait, wait, Elliot, look at this. Amir. Amir. Nafisa, 23, School of Journalism, Post Office Box. That zip code looks like the East Village. She's from Afghanistan. Emergency notification, Dayud Tarsi, East Village. We need to fax much that photo ID. Mr. Tarsi? 
Oh, he uh, doesn't live here anymore. What do you want? Who are you? David Hamoud. How about some ID? Anything with a photo on it? No, I, I don't drive. Uh, my passport's in my safety deposit box. Have you seen this woman? No, who is she? How long have you lived here? I just moved in last week. Do you know where Mr. Tarzi is? I'd tell you who the super is if I knew. I got a stuffed train with his name on it. But you got that trying to fix it yourself? Yeah. As a matter of fact. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. If you'll excuse me, I'm late for a meeting. No, I'll be back in the evening if you want to talk. Oh, God. Is that her? I can't be sure. She missed class this morning. Is that unusual? I've had Nafisa in different sections each semester. She's never missed a class. Professor, you ever talk one-on-one -on -one with her? Constantly. She couldn't believe how free the press is here. The Taliban government in Afghanistan controls the media the way they control women. She came here to escape? Well, unless she sneaked out of the country, her parents must also be here. Afghan women can't even leave their homes on their own. Does she have any friends in the class? Annette Fleming. They were joined at the hip. It's her. I can't believe it. When was the last time you saw her? Just yesterday in class. How could this happen? Well, maybe you can help us find out. Was she acting like anything was wrong lately? The opposite. Nafisa was loving life. Did she have a boyfriend? And she wouldn't talk about it. I think it was her way of protecting herself. Protecting herself from what? Her father, an Afghan diplomat. She thought that he may have been looking for her. If he had his way, Nafisa and I wouldn't even be friends. Sounds like a strict guy. A control freak. He wouldn't let her go out and made her wear the robes. Like she had to back home? She'd wear them when she left the house and changed when she got to school. She hated so much that she had to do that. She was talking to Professor Husseini, who was helping her to adjust. And where did she keep these forbidden clothes? In her locker. You got a sign for this? Okay. That's it. Yeah, that'd be all. Good, thanks, guys. Can you imagine what Maureen would do if you told her she couldn't wear jeans? It's a place I don't want to go. Boyfriend? Could be. Ah. Her address, east side. This young woman was found in the park. Do you recognize her? It is our daughter. She's in intensive care at Mount Sinai. She's dead? Actually, she's in critical condition, but she is still alive. Nafisa did not understand her place. She chooses a man's work. She turns her back on her traditions, on her family. We still have a son, Jalil. But uh, she's dead to us. So your daughter was beaten and raped? It is Zena. Zena. She slept with a man who was not her husband. Do you recognize this man? No. Your son is... He's not here. Please. My wife and I suffer agony that she chose this life. Please to leave us to grieve for our daughter. It's halfway down the block. He made it. Hi, how are you? You won't find her. I'll never tell them where she is. You hear that? I'll never tell them where she is. Who's them? You'll never find her. We already did. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to be heard.